Okay, so we've uh, scissored off, and this is pretty much it. We're short on time, so I couldn't really share all the other bits. So we've done a nice scissor trim on the face. There we go. It's leaving a bit of character here. Nice and short on the cheeks. I know it's not typical of a Westie, but uh, we had to get rid of all the sort of the gunk and the fluff, and uh, it tends to get a bit messy when he's eating so uh, and having a drink. So we kept it nice and short, but left a little bit of character on the front. Um, all I'm going to do now is show you. So this is the other half of the bar of soap that I said that I used in the wash, uh, and at the beginning of the uh, series of videos. I talked about um, just at the end, all I'm going to do now is just put a bit of texture and a bit of gloss back into the coat. So I'm just going to give it a nice rub. Of course it gives off that wonderful clean smell of the soap. <coughs> so we're just going to go off and just texture it instead of using all that sort of sticky hair product and so on and so forth. This is a very great way. We're just ruffling in to those areas just to give it uh, a bit more protection, a bit of gloss and any loose hairs, which is a bugbear of mine, once you've done it will just stick to the soap and that can just be wiped off later and then obviously into a steriliser for the next stop so it can be used for the next stop. So we're just going over the coat now just systematically just, just rubbing them all over the areas. Um, the great thing to do is to use the soap on the feet and then the undercarriage. Do you want to stand up for me please Theo? Um, just so that uh, it gets a bit of a waterproof waxy barrier so it doesn't soak up as much uh, water because I know that this guy loves his uh, mud baths and jumping in puddles so we're just going to go over those little wispy areas not only his belly and his chest just to rub that in and it is really so soft you can just wax that in now to gentle areas I think it's important just to mention that during the cutting and the scissoring, especially after we've washed the dog, I try not to touch the dog too much with my hands because then you transfer a bit of um, your grease that naturally comes out on your hands onto the coat and it starts to, to change the behaviour of the coat. Um, but now, obviously we've got to where we want to be, so I'm just ruffling now. I'm just going to wipe a bit more soap on my palms, heat it up nicely. And just slick him all up. So there's a little bit of texture, which is nice as well because he's got such a unique colouring, and it just you want to create lots of different layers so that the light catches it and you get that nice textured look, as opposed to a real short teddy bear clip all over, and it just doesn't look good. I'm just going to finish off his tail. That's a bit coarser the tail, so left a little bit more length in the tail, so it can be a little bit more. There we are. And then finally, I'm just going to use a comb just to make sure I haven't left any lumpy bits like we have here, and they just just tease them off and just take away that excess. It doesn't look like a huge clump. There we go. A bit of texturizing, making sure it gets in everywhere. A little bit behind off. Left a little bit of weight on the tip of the ears, at just at the base there, just to just give the ears a little bit more drama. Otherwise, they'd look a little bit too flat. Um, so there we are. So this is Theo, pretty much in his showroom finish. And then finally, just to give a bit more texture, I'm just going to use some neat, very little shear button and just roughly all over. Just make sure that if there's any loose hairs it will come out. It's nothing worse than giving a dog back from grooming, put it against the uh, you know, picks them up, gives them a hug and a kiss and they're covered in uh, dog hairs just a pet hate so I like to get rid of that and in some cases I might uh, just finish off just with the gentle dryer and just blast through the coat just to make sure there isn't any anything there which one I'm going to do next and it's literally just to make sure no hairs left behind 
Customers a good price to do a proper job, then you know it makes the difference that you give the dog back in that beautiful order. So, and then finally, I'm just going to give them some natural spritz. Uh, this is uh, your yoga and fennel, so we're just going to protect him from it and from a height, just gently layer it in. Just give him a little dousing, you know, he's not going to like that. And there we are. Pretty much job job done. Just a few stragglers. Just neaten those up a little bit. Just fine scissoring out. So just taking off some of these rough edges that I might have missed before. So just final trim. So, Thea, do you want to stand up and say goodbye to everybody? Thank you very much. I hope uh, you've enjoyed this video. If you could spend a moment and just like, if you want to share, please do so. Visit the website, have a read of the blogs. Um, it's all about dogs and caring for your dog. Thank you so much. Bye bye. Say goodbye. I'm gonna say goodbye, Theo. Theo, I'm gonna say goodbye. Goodbye.